It's lovely today to have a visit from our chair, Jim Van Brunessen. And I thought it might be nice for the Quest community just to know a little bit more about who is the chair of our board and why on earth he got involved with us in the first place. So maybe you can tell us, Jim, what was it about Quest that stimulated your interest? Patria, I'd spent a little bit of time at Blackmores and Marcus's whole philosophy around um, whole of person health mm. and mm. not necessarily strictly the medical model. And when I first then met you, that's what I got from you was this, you know, every person's different, every person's needs are different. Um, and, and it's this whole of person approach that, that um, you take. Yes. And I think the genuine care that you hold for every single person you meet. That's what grabbed me at the first moment. <laughs> yeah, well, I know Blackmores have been a wonderful supporter over the years, and we've certainly had some wonderful people involved with us from mm, mm. from Blackmores. And it's now how many years that you've been involved with Quest? Just over eight years, and uh, the last couple of years as chair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just over eight years on the board now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you've done a sensational job of leading the, the team through some very challenging years too, as far as... Um, uh, our communities are concerned, but of course that has an impact on any charity as well with yeah. the challenges we've had with COVID and lockdowns and... Well, uh, but, but Patria, I think you're absolutely right, it's been challenging, but that actually is what brings out the best in Quest. And, you know, I still remember a couple of years ago when the, the bushfires were happening and, mm -hmm. and you threw the doors open for the local community. And at the time, a lot of the local community didn't even know what we did here. Yes, that's and, true. And, you know, to then hear the great stories from the, mm. you know, the volunteer firemen and so on who, you know, who do amazing jobs and risk their lives and we take them somewhat for granted because they're there to help mm. and protect us. Mm. For you to then throw the doors open here and for those uh, men and women to have somewhere that they could yeah. release yeah. And, and say, thank goodness there's places that can support me. Yeah. Because yeah. they've got such a shield and they do such a great job mm. but they're human too and and you mm. know during the bushfires again challenging time as we said but we saw the best of quest yeah and and yeah. how you help the local community and those suffering trauma mm. um, and now fortunately able to do some of the similar sort of work up in the northern rivers yeah. area which is wonderful <laughs> yeah and i know that as the chair you kind of lead the organization is there the, the future that you see with I know we've been talking about the Healing Trauma Centre for mm. for some time, but for you, what does the future hold for Quest? Yeah, <clears throat> Patria, I think, um, sadly, there is an increasing need for the sort of support that, that, you know, you and the team provide here for people. And, you know, whether that be, you know, trauma from uh, childhood situations, whether it's return service people, whether it's emergency services, um, that support there is an incredible mm. demand for mm. and you know when we first launched the appeal to to talk about a, um, the healing center um, you know I remember saying the words that you know it wasn't a vision we actually had a responsibility to do this mm. because there are you know wonderful people suffered you know very badly and we know we can help them mm. we know we make a difference to people's lives a really positive difference and so I take that seriously we have a responsibility to make more places available to help more people mm. every day we can. Mm. Oh, lovely, Jim. You can see why Jim is the chair of our board and why he has that passion and really leads the team with that as well. So, lovely to have a chat. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.